Save your most important documents and photos in the cloud. A Microsoft 365 subscription gives you a full terabyte of secure OneDrive storage, plus an added layer of protection with OneDrive Personal Vault. Buy now at Microsoft365.com slash photos. Blog Talk Radio. Hi, this is Jenny Walker, and welcome to Closet Conversations. Today is sourcing tip number four for resellers. This is just another episode on some things that I think about when I'm out looking for inventory to sell online, whether that's Poshmark or eBay. My next tip for you is to source by style or color in an effort to help your closet have an identity of some sort. And what I mean by that is there is a lot of inventory out there. There is more than any of us can actually conceive. And when you're going through and you're looking for things, there's got to be some sort of filter that you're using other than brand, other than type, you know, that kind of thing, other than price. And what I am finding for myself, which might be helpful to you, is I have focused in on certain colors. These are colors that I like for myself, colors that I enjoy, colors that look good together. So primarily when I'm outsourcing, it's really helpful because I look for those colors and I sort of filter out everything else. So in my closet on Poshmark, I have mostly black um, supplemented with white uh, and red. I have pops of color and my style is more modern and funky vintage. And so that is the bulk of what's in there. And I'm working very hard to um, get rid of the things that no longer support that idea of mine. So that when you go to my closet, you get a feel for what's in there. So for example, I have tons of vintage Moschino, which is very bright and poppy colors. It's very eighties, tons and tons of black. And I sell black clothes all day long. So Um, And also what's important with the color black is that all of the high-end designers make something in black. And so it's very, very easy to find something to me that's designer when I go to the black section of the clothing because a lot of times these stores have now broken things out by color themselves when they're keeping it on the floor. And so the other day um, I had some extra time (laughs) in Goodwill and I was going through and I found a pair of Montclair uh, ski pants, which retail for $695 on the rack for $699. And they're a size 36, which is super tiny. They look like they've never been worn. And, you know, there it was. It was black and it was in the pair of black pants. And so I always uh, support my closet by looking for things of particular color. And I'm usually finding something designer in that section. You know, even Chanel always makes a little black dress as part of every collection. So Every high-end designer, they're always, always there with the black. It's because it's very sophisticated and, you know, it's, I don't know, I guess it's easy and there's a lot of luxe fabrics that they can use to, um, to make that really, really appealing. And so for me, I really don't even look at certain colors. I don't look at certain patterns. I don't, I just literally have to find a way to filter it out. And as such, things jump out at me, right? So I'm scanning for a particular color. I'm scanning particular um, color scheme. I'm scanning for fabrics and those things literally will, my eye will find them. It'll catch my eye when I'm going through the racks. And so that's one way when you're sourcing is to ask yourself, well, what is, what do I want to be known for? Because if you think about a regular catalog, like we used, we still get them in the mail, but not as often. We used to get a catalog in the mail and there's a, a theme to it, right? They don't just randomly put everything in a catalog. And essentially we have online catalogs for our items. And until Poshmark comes up with better ways for us to organize our store, we're kind of stuck organizing it for ourselves, whether that's organizing by color or style or things like that. Um, But if you look at a catalog and you'll see, okay, yeah, they don't have it just jumbled. There's a theme, there's a sense to it, like all the evenings together or, you know, all the casuals together or all the cashmere's together, that kind of thing. So if you think of finding ways to organize your closet, be it by color, by fabric, by scheme, by style, then it's going to help you when you're outsourcing um, make choices that will help you support yourself in another way by branding your closet with a certain aesthetic. So the people know when they go to your closet, that's what they're going to find. And tip now another way is by style. And so a lot of people – you know, have like a West Southwestern theme to their closets, or they only look for things that are boho. 
And I think that's great because they are making themselves known for a certain stop. When I see that, I walk right past it. I am not interested in anything Southwestern or Boho um, in general. I don't like the color brown, for example. I don't like that aesthetic for myself. Um, I have a, I do have, um, the, by exception for that is I buy cowboy boots because cowboy boots always sell. So to me, the cowboy boot, the cowboy hat is basically an Americana kind of piece. It's, uh, it's a set, it's a standard in our country. And it's certainly a, something that sells on a very regular basis for me. So I'm always buying, uh, cowboy boots, traditional Western boots and the funkier, the better. So that is an exception for me. Um, Although even within boots, I'm no longer buying certain colors or something that's too worn out. So that's something that's an exception. But, yeah, think of what is your style. Is it romantic? Is it boho? Is it denim? And what made me think of this the other day is um, when I have attended some vintage shows, there's one that I attended called The Current Affair, and each of the vintage booths, had a theme to it like one person was all denim one person was all maxi dresses that were beige or off-white like you could get married in these things like each person tried to find a way to kind of set themselves apart and I think it's important to do when you're outsourcing is to look for things that that you know one that you love what two that you can make money on but three that set you apart and I think that um it's a really smart way to source and it will also help you not be overwhelmed by all of the things that are out there because it's, these stores are big. (laughs) You go through and it's like, look at all this stuff. But for me, I literally go through very quickly. I'm looking for certain colors. I'm looking for certain styles. I'm looking for certain fabrics. Obviously I'm looking for certain, and it it just helps me filter it through. Um, And I think one of the things that, I think is going to happen in retail hasn't happened yet, but my projection is that eventually um, we will have 100% of online stores, maybe even physical stores that are all one brand that are pre-owned there. That does exist for Louis Vuitton. It does exist for Chanel. There's um, uh, those are two branches. I know where there are entire stores that that's all that it is, is pre-owned Chanel and pre-owned Louis Vuitton. I think that's going to expand over time. I think that eventually, There'll be, uh, you know, I'd love to have the only pre-owned Moschino store where it's all vintage, right? And so then what makes it stand out or what makes it special is which, which pieces did I put in there? Which pieces were I, was I able to find? Because it's very, very difficult to find this stuff. I've been sourcing for six years now. <laughs> there are things I still haven't found um, that I would like to. It takes a very long time to get them at the right price. If price weren't an issue, you could just buy whatever you wanted and not think about it. But price is an issue as a reseller and as someone who's buying things to resell, uh, price is definitely an issue. So it takes a very long time to gather up a number of items at the right price point. So that's my tip for you today. When you're outsourcing, think about what your style is. Think about what your favorite colors are. Think about what has been selling for you and ask yourself, is there a way I could focus in on a specific brand, a specific style, a specific color? Uh, Just one, so that your store will stand out and two, it'll make it easier when you're out sourcing because you'll know what to look for. And that's it. That's your tip. It seems to work for me. (laughs) And what's so funny is my business partner at my consignment shop, he hates the color black. He hates it with a passion. And what's hilarious is that we sell so much black. And so we're always like tussling over that. But I lived in New York for 16 years and that was basically everyone's uniform as we all wore everything black all day long. It's easy to match your outfit that way for sure. But yeah, those are my tips today. Uh, Tip number four for resellers. I appreciate you listening. If you enjoyed what you heard today, I'd love uh, you to give a review or to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I look forward to having you with me on a future episode. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do have an Instagram, Jenny Girls Closet, where I do daily posts of my vintage Moschino. And also I do have a YouTube channel that I am beginning to grow. And it is uh, slow going (laughs) for me. But um, Jenny Girls Closet, I have lots of free selling content on there as well. Thank you for your time. I look forward to having you with me on a future episode.
Save your most important documents and photos in the cloud. A Microsoft 365 subscription gives you a full terabyte of secure OneDrive storage, plus an added layer of protection with OneDrive Personal Vault. Buy now at Microsoft365.com slash photos. Do I have your attention? ABC Tonight. It's the American Music Awards Live. Let's go, girls. We about to go. Music's biggest names take the stage. Katy Perry. Justin Bieber. Shawn Mendes. Megan Thee Stallion. BTS. Nelly. Dua Lipa. Belle Biv DeVoe. And Billie Eilish. With collaborations from The Weeknd and Kenny G. Bad Bunny and Jay Cortez. Jennifer Lopez and Maluma. This show is great. Taraji P. Henson hosts. Don't miss out. Just be The American Music Awards Live. Tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC.